Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson, with some great news involving Sydney Powell. She has been vindicated absolutely 100%, and the Democrats actually set this up, and they were giving a scathing rebuke. This is such a great report. Really quickly, want to thank my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings. The $25 extravaganza is still going on. Go check it out right now. But listen to this. This out of the Houston Chronicle. And I have read plenty of articles out of the Houston Chronicle over the years. This is not a Republican paper. But this re report gets so wild. as I'm going to bring in four reports to this. Because although she had this big win, things aren't advancing at the Supreme Court. And this is all, in fact, I want to take you back in time first to Georgia. Remember when everybody was like, oh my gosh, she pled guilty. It's over for Trump. I mean, it's that's it. It's over. And she did like her her one sentence apology but out of i want to bring you back to that time out of the guardian former trump lawyer sydney powell charged alongside the former president for conspiring to overturn uh -huh, the 2020 election results of the state of georgia has pleaded guilty as part of a cooperation agreement with prosecutors just days before her trial was scheduled to start now you have to understand that all of these lawyers had massive actions going against them in so many states and I think what Sidney Powell decided here was I'm going to just take this option so I can focus on these other things where she just had a big win. But at that time, she had pled guilty to six misdemeanor counts of conspiracy to commit interference with election duties. She was sentenced to six years probation, a $6,000 fine, and $2,700 in restitution to the state. And liberals were out of their minds thinking, oh my gosh, we got her. We got Sidney Powell. And then Jenna Crybaby, <laughs> if I only don't know then what I knew now, you know. <laughs> okay, and they were like, it's over for Trump. So the most far, in fact, this is what the left said back at that time. The most far-reaching consequences of Powell taking the plea deal could be her agreement to testify in future trials. Do you remember this? They were all just, oh, so excited, waiting with bated breath. Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis, they're all going to testify against Trump. He's going down. And then Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. And their whole Georgia case got derailed. And it was the one they were most excited about. Well, anyways, now we go back to what happened just yesterday in the Texas Appeals Court. The Texas Appeal Court Appeals Court agrees to toss scattershot bar complaint against Trump lawyer Sidney Powell. Again, this out of the Houston Chronicle, a liberal paper. Dallas Appeals Court on Thursday upheld a decision not to discipline Sidney Powell, former lawyer for Donald Trump, for her role in seeking to here they go again, overturn 2020 presidential election, saying the complaint against her was riddled with errors. This is where they have done their own damage to themselves, setting themselves up for this colossal failure in their scattershot, error-ridden approach. Listen to this. In a scathing 25-page opinion, a panel of three Democratic judges criticized the state bar for filing a complaint against Powell with mislabeled evidence. What? They wouldn't mislabel evidence or plant false evidence or do anything along those lines, would they? A Collin County judge had tossed the case in early 2023, citing the disorganization. So you have to understand, the case had already been tossed because it was so poorly filed. Then they come back to the appeals court. They get this scathing 25-page rebuke. The bar employed a scattershot approach to the case, which left this court and the trial court with the task of sorting through the argument to determine what issue had actually been raised, wrote Judge Denise Garcia. What issue, if any? The appeals court agreed that the bar had not met its burden of proof to show Paul knowingly made a false statement or used false evidence when she filed lawsuits to overturn the election results. There they go again. Powell's attorney did not immediately respond to her request for comment. The trial court declined to consider every, any evidence that the bar failed to cite or identify, and the appeals court on Thursday said it would do the same. So you see, they are running this first off, they do this scattershot approach, like, let's just throw a bunch of mud against the wall and see what sticks. It's actually what a lot of liberal prosecutors do when they're prosecuting crimes. That's why they'll run 19 indictments against somebody or whatever, right? And then they just wanted to plead out to a couple of them. Well, then not only had they done that, but then they did not even cite evidence for their charges. This is nuts. Okay. So 
A bar committee, which declined to comment on the ruling, had asked the appeals court to consider all evidence, even if citations were incorrect or missing. This is, they're so riddled with hate that even if there's missing or, you know, they're not cited correctly, you got to consider this stuff anyhow. And it's so bad, people, that listen to this. The Dallas Morning News, which is even left of the Houston Chronicle, has now runs this headline, Texas State Bar should act soon on Sidney Powell. Dallas lawyer violated ethical standards that all lawyers are bound to uphold. What, by bringing a case for her client where she had, oh my gosh, she had sworn affidavits and everything. And so now the Dallas Morning News is still running with, no, they got to get her. They got to find another way to get her. Remember my friend Marcus said, Conservatives fight till they win, liberals fight till they lose. I mean, it appears that liberals are still going on that vent. A reference alone will not suffice, Garcia wrote, adding that according to our court precedent, the court was not required to sift through plaintiffs' voluminous evidence to determine whether any whether any of it raised, in fact, a question. Claire Reynolds, a bar spokesman, said the commission has not decided whether or not it will appeal. Okay, so they want are they gonna take a third run at this? The bar is also pursuing disciplinary action against the best attorney general in the United States, Ken Paxton, and his top aide, first assistant, Brent Webster, for filing a case before the U.S. Supreme Court seeking to overturn Joe Biden's wins. (laughs) Those cases have had opposing outcomes. A Collin County judge said Paxton ought to face trial while a Millam County judge initially tossed the suit against Webster. Now listen to this. In spite of all this going on and all this evidence and complete vindication for Sidney Powell, before the Supreme Court was this question. So the U.S. Supreme Court has denied a bid from seven attorneys who brought a lawsuit alleging fraud in Michigan during the 2020 election to overturn sanctions handed down by a federal judge for their role in a frivolous legal action. So a federal judge... Okay, even though she's been vindicated now, some federal judge had handed down these sanctions. The U.S. Supreme Court will not even take the case up. On Monday, April 15th, the high court denied a rehearing request from the group of lawyers, including former Donald Trump attorney, former Donald Trump attorney, Sidney Powell, who vowed to overturn the 2020 election results through a nationwide momentum she and other conspiracy theorists referred to as releasing the Kraken. So again, you know, this is all part and parcel to what we've seen go on. Now we've got the Trump trials in New York. We've got Florida. We've got D.C. But man, they've been hearing arguments in the case of the J6ers in the obstruction of Congress charge. And people, it looks like that's going to go the right way. I do not believe that the obstruction of Congress charge is going to stick, which means all those people who got those 20 year sentences handed down are all going to be, you know, this is going to happen. Now, I think what needs to happen at that point is we need some reverse lawsuits where conservatives need to actually file suit against the government for ever running these shams in the first place is what needs to take place. But this is great news to see Cindy Powell vindicated for simply questioning things. And again, she had plenty of, of uh, things on paper, sworn affidavits, uh, new, numerous pieces of evidence, and she's not supposed to bring this to the court's attention. It's absolutely absurd. Again, check out MyPillow.com forward slash lumberjack for the best deals available right now the $25 spectacular the $9.50 slide sandals go check it out thanks so much for listening remember subscribe if you're new we'll see you on the next episode peace out